in today's video, we're going to... Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Yeah. Oh, that was bad timing. In today's video, we're going to look at Hikashop. It's an e-commerce solution for Joomla. And uh, let's just get going. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Wash & Work live stream number 167 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites and maintain them. So if you're looking to hire someone long-term or short-term or even just to get you out of a bind or even just to look at your site, give you some ideas, uh, send me an email, tim at cybersalt.com and let's talk. Now, our video today, as usual, uh, and for a long time, is brought to you by MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru. You can get a free site audit for your Joomla site. And while that's happening, you can check out all the tools and information that will save you time and money managing one or multiple Joomla sites. And if you decide to subscribe, use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA. You get your first month free. And then he knows that you uh, signed up through, uh, through watching this video. Uh, anyways, uh, yes, so hello to everyone out there. I, uh, a little bit late today, not only because, you know, I'm probably usually a couple of minutes late, but I turned my computer off last night just for fun, for a change, and when I turned it on, it started running some Windows updates, so we all know that feeling. Uh, all right, let's turn our attention over to the screen here, and uh, that's the back end of Joomla 4 site where we're going to install Hikashop. Now, a few opening comments about Hikashop. Um, uh, I have a, uh, one of my newer clients has Hikashop on their website, so I need to, I need it to kind of learn it and brush up on it. Uh, it's a website that sells courses that are in uh, Moodle, and then uh, there's a bridge, uh, an extension, Joomla extension called Joomdle, and so Hikashop is the solution there. It's not the only solution that works in that, in that combination, but this is the one the client was using. So I thought that I would check it out. Uh, and learn it because, of course, I uh, wanted to be able to support my client time. Now, uh, you may remember a long, long, long time ago, and uh, let me just say hi to Bjorn and Imran in chat. Imran's there from tomorrow. Uh, uh, you remember a long, long time ago, there was pretty much only one shopping cart extension that was available for Joomla, and it was incredibly uh, detailed complex at everything that you needed and in fact I mean it, it probably was like an, a CMS inside the CMS except it didn't handle content it handled products and the products were very separate uh, were, were, it was a separate area in the Joomla site where you set up your products and it, it was really really good um, and then along came another extension now I'm not going to mention names because I really don't want you know this channel is not about saying something is better than another one. I try to avoid that. I just try to look at the positives of what uh, what uh, what we're using and uh, what we're looking at in the channel. Um, so, but along came an, an, uh, an e-commerce solution that um, instead of having all the products in a separate area, like being a separate extension, it was still a separate extension, but you could you turn your articles into the actual products as well. A lot of your e-commerce stuff, like pricing and, and things for it, were right there in the article. And that was great. And and it was it really scratched an itch because it was uh, simple, whereas this previous one was very complex and, and it was way more way more than a lot of people needed. Nothing wrong with that. It's just that that was how it was. So I've been uh, I've been using for a long time that other extension I just mentioned the second one and uh now come along with uh joomla 3 uh, uh joomla 4 coming out uh that other extension is not j4 compatible yet so there's sort of been an awkward in between time for all of us building sites for ourselves and for developers uh, who are or, or for clients and and that is if you, do you start a new project in joomla 3 and wait for everything that you usually use that's to be ready for Joomla 4, then switch it to Joomla 4. Like, do you take a new client and say, hey, here's your site. Oh, now we have to switch it five months later. Or do you build something with go Joomla 4 with a bunch of stuff that's compatible? Now, um, the one that we're looking at today, Hikashop, is, uh, is Joomla 4 compatible? 
Uh, it does have products in a separate area. It's not like that other one. Uh, but uh, anyways, uh, having looked at it uh, and, and used it a bit, I've actually used it in some other projects. It's scratching the itch right now. Uh, I still see... Uh, and now, uh, just one final comment about uh, the shopping cart or e-commerce situation in Juma. Whereas in, the, I mentioned in the past, a long time ago, there was a lot, uh, there was, things were kind of skimpy. There was just that one really good one and some other small ones. Uh, you know, there's one that I used just to sell, a, uh, set up a client, just to sell a few books. It, it was, it was too, it was almost not quite an e-commerce solution, but it worked. Um, anyways, those were sort of uh, desert days. Now today, there's a bunch of really viable and really, uh, really, uh, I guess I would say robust uh, shopping cart extensions out there. And we've looked at a number here on the channel. We'll probably look at others again, um, but it's great. So, uh, you know, Hika Shop, I'm not, we're not looking at this today to say this is the be all and end all, but it is, a, a, it is really a cool extension. Uh, it's working on lots and lots of sites. And uh, so I thought, well, what did, we'll just go through and install the starter setup uh, today. I hope that is uh, helpful for you. All right. So, um, okay. Yes. Uh, Imran says installing Joomdle is critical. Yes. Joomdle. Uh, do you have any experience with that, uh, Imran, with Moodle, Joomdle, and Joomla? All right. So Hika Shop. Now, why am I saying Hika Shop? I used to call it Hika Shop. And then I had a client, another client that was using it. Uh, he's closed the site since uh, he closed his business. Uh, he called it Hika Shop. He was French Canadian, and so I thought, oh, I don't know, I, I didn't know how to pronounce it. But I have uh, I have some university students working for me right now on doing a co-op program. And when I was showing them this extension, one of them, hello Rebecca, if she's watching, she's probably not. Uh, but she pronounced it Hika Shop because uh, this uh, symbol here is a Japanese uh, symbol for Hika. And so that's how it's pronounced, Hika Shop. Now, if you play Pokemon, like I do, um, uh, it rhymes with Pika, as in Pikachu. So it is officially Hika Shop. Oh, that's cool. It's interesting. I mean, we'll have to talk sometime about your experience with the uh, Moodle Joomla, Joomla Joomla. I have two sites running it, uh, two clients with sites. All right, so, <coughs> excuse me, still have that post-COVID tickle cough. Here we are. Uh, you can go to hikashop.com and download. In fact, I'll just put that in um, in there. And um, there we go. And um, it's really nice. You don't even have to register to download this. We're going to download the zip file. And where will we put it? I'm just going to put it in my... Uh, uh, I have I've bought the business level there so there's some uh, different uh, levels to this there's a pro version as well but we'll just look at the free one today uh, let's just put it in here all right now let's go into the back in this Joomla site here we'll go to system and we're going to go to extensions install and we'll just drag that oh wait till my antivirus is done scanning that Okay, Rick Spawn just dropped in to say hi. I hope everybody caught Maintenance Monday this week with that cool extension that he told us about. Oh, I think it was back at the end of May, uh, back in May. Um, so check that out on the channel if you want different you want different versions for modules, just like you have different uh, just like you have Joomla articles that same save versions. You can have it in 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 modules now thanks to Rick's plugin. All right, and by the way, I'm really happy to be here with you all today. I, uh, um, yeah, it's been one of those weeks, and this is nice to just sit down and do some stuff and hang out and uh, be here with you guys and gals. If there are any gals here? All right, so uh, there you go. Uh, Hika Shop uh, has installed installed the modules. Um, and uh, now let's check this out. Welcome to Hika Shop Installation Assistant. Please fill the form below before proceeding. You know, this is really great. Now, uh, I cannot recommend enough to developers to have some kind of 
uh, some kind of setup wizard or starting process just to get people going. We saw a recently extension that uh, none of the um, none of the menus for using it in the admin area were created when it was installed, and I thought that was uh, something had gone wrong. But actually, part of their setup process is that you have to go in and turn the menu on. And uh, you know, different approaches. Everyone's and everyone's on a different level and doing stuff. So no, no judgment. I, you know, don't judge people on their technical abilities or their products. It has nothing to do with them, their value as a human being. But look how easy this is here to simply uh, go through the steps here. Now, so menu item for products. A menu item will be added to your main menu, allowing access to a listing of your products. All right. So we're going to add that menu item. Okay. And now, in fact, if we go up here and preview our page, uh, did that get created? No, let's see. Uh, da, 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 let's see. Oh, we're picking, so, oh, we're, um, we're picking an option. Let's see, select how you want to access Hika Shop pages on your website front end. Uh, okay. Uh, list of categories in a module, why not? Okay, this is doing the setup. What are we going to get to at the end? Okay, we're we're selecting our options here. All right. I understand here. Green is selected. Gotcha. Thanks. Thanks, Rick. Uh, all right. So um, now one thing we're going to pay attention to is that this is going to create links on the front end of the site. And if you're not quite ready or you want that link there, uh, you want to go and uh, unpublish it or set it to special right away. Um, okay, so menu item for products. Let's just do menu item for, yeah, let's leave all three in. That'll help us see what's happening. Okay, choose how you want to display your products between these three listing types. Do you want to see a listing grid? You want to see a listing in list, or this will display your listings in list, or in a table. I'm going to go with a grid. I like the div because it's uh, more responsive for mobile stuff. Select your country. Well, I am still in Canada. And that means I'm in British Columbia. And I'm gonna fill this out uh, today because um, I may just simply take the tables from this install and put this, I, ha I do have another site that I need to uh, install. Uh, a shopping cart on it. I think I might just use this work today. All right, Victoria, Canada, B9C, 2B2. All right, so great setup thing there. Yeah. All right, currency. I'm going to be charging US dollars. That's what I've been trying to do business in. Uh, install European taxes. No. Uh, now, if I were going to install a tax. Yeah, I do have to charge tax in Canada on things, in which case I would say yes, I think. Uh, no, I don't European. No, they're going to have a tax rate. There's a GST tax rate that I have to charge, a goods and services tax rate in Canada. And it it varies. It's 5% in some provinces, but others, uh, it, it they have a combined tax, uh, an HST. So I'm just going to go with five here. PayPal configuration, I'll leave my address off there for now. And then the kind of products sold, what am I selling? I am selling, uh, I'm going to sell on this other site, shippable goods. I have to, there are things I have to email. Uh, but I would maybe download, uh, we'll, we'll go shippable goods. Notice you can select both. So if you want to sell MP3s or an ebook or something like that, this is a solution as well. Install the sample data on your website. Oh, you know what? I think. I'm going to do that today. Let's forget about uh, me using this somewhere else. I'm going to install the sample data so we can see things. Because uh, this is a pretty straightforward process for setting up. All right, so save and go and create your first product. All right. So this is really nice. And there we go. This is where you can create our first product. Now, remember, we go to home. And now, oh, look at that. Uh, these modules, this is the module we said to create. And then also we have a categories listing and products listing. So remember, if you're installing this on a live site, very quickly go and uh, make these modules special. And if you're not sure how to do that, 
you would uh, here let's just do this we'll duplicate this tab we will cancel um, Rick, Rick says EU taxes is for B uh, business to business with EU countries okay um, all right so what you would do is we would go to system and actually we can go content site modules uh, we'll sort by the ID on this side here and here are all these modules right now that uh, and this is the only one that's published but we could actually select all of these yeah just for now and what you would do is you could batch them over to a different access level and make them special so only or sp yeah special or only for super users. So you only see them if you're logged in the front end of the site. I'm not gonna do that right now, uh, but that's how you do it. And it's a similar process for for the the menus as, as well. If you want to get these menus to show only when you're logged in, then you would basically um, make those special. And of course, then you would log in here. Ah, uh, what the heck, why don't we do this? We're gonna process that, all right. Insufficient. <laughs> Well, I did something wrong there. All right, let's do this one. Actions, patch. Yes. Uh, oh, I probably... Uh, no. Oh, look. You can change the position. Wow. Uh, uh, special users process. That one worked. Okay. Let's just try one more thing there. Actions, batch, special users... Oh, that worked too. All right. Well, now you'll see when we go here, we will refresh. And now that module is gone. All right. Well, let's go back to creating our first product here. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to, uh, let's, let's, uh, why don't I sell, um, uh, why don't I, uh, let's sell a, a book, uh, my biography i don't have it written because it's not over yet uh but uh, we're going to give it a product code tim bio tim bio quantity you know so how many how many are available now if you're selling a physical book and you only have 25 you only have 25 to sell uh of course if this is virtual it's infinite or maybe you're uh, print on demand and you can just go unlimited because someone orders and you have it printed up and shipped out brand i don't know about brand oh there we go they've set up some brands for us oh hike a shoes hike a kid's feet starches we should do shoes um let's go this tim runners great tim uh, product code tim runners excellent unlimited pairs of tim runners no i think those are limited edition we have uh we have 10 pair to do all right and some tags no results. Now, can we create a tag in here? Running shoes. Yeah, you can create tags as you go. And I believe these are Joomla tags. When we say this, we'll see. Uh, and let's go Tim Shoes. All right. Is it published? Okay. A description. These are the. Uh, these are based on the very shoes that Tim Davis war when he um res uh, when he uh won the gold medal for live streaming live steaming probably yeah and that's more accurate okay uh great now images all right let's upload an image of the tim shoes uh let's see what have i got here for something annoying here yeah, let's see now this is 2.3 megabytes it might be too big uh, let's see i don't know what the limits are set on this and of course we'll look at some configuration things but we're just going through the process here all right uh now if there are files that you are selling this is where you would upload them uh not to confuse things but i won't but same process upload the file that you want to sell now here's some great stuff here for seo all right uh Tim shoes. The last 
shoes you will buy from us. <laughs> All right, a brand URL. Now, um, I guess this is that if you were selling something and they had a website, let's say you're selling cars and they've got Ford and you're going to send them to the URL for that company, meta description. Um, uh, these uh, running shoes are just like just like the ones Tim wears, right? You will be, you will look cool in these shoes. All right. And keywords, throw some keywords in there, running shoes. You know the, you know the drill, the comma after that, Tim shoes. All right, yeah. Um, now, alias. This would be in uh, under uh, search engine friendly URLs. What do you want the alias for this page to be? It's Tim Runners. Uh, so we could just leave, we'll just leave it blank, but you could put Tim Runners or whatever. And canonical URL, this basically, if you have a number of ways for products to, uh, a number of URLs to get to the same page in Joomla, you, you really want to set that, um, what the canonical URL is just to avoid the appearance of duplicate URLs. Now actually Google is getting really good at just figuring out what the main URL is for something. So it's not a problem uh, so much so, but this is something that you could set in there. Uh, I don't know it well enough to show you today, but it would be definitely something to look into. And the condition of these shoes, new, used, refurbished, none. Uh, I, I'd like to put dreamy, but okay. Now, uh, here's where if you have uh, created module overrides or, or pay, uh, pay overrides, you could go and you could select the ones. Now, right now, Hikashop has default, reverse, and tabular. All right, so you could play around. We could play around with some of those different layouts. But that's just for when this product's showing. If you've got, you know, you could create an override uh, that shows Tim shoes in a special way and uh, all the products related to this brand in a special way. So you can get quite fancy there. And quantity input, let's see. Um, uh, okay, so this probably has to do with maybe if you have discounts for a quantity that people are buying. Um, I'm not sure, That's, now's a good time for us to just go back here and see what they have for documentation. Hika shop documentation, yeah. Everything, you know, global information, tutorials, okay. Integrations, payment plugins, shipping plugins, developer area. All right, that's pretty good. nicely order, ordered there. That's That looks really good to navigate. All right, so um, uh, we would want to see tutorials, maybe. Um, there we go. Uh, create your first product. Hey, look at this. They've got a video, a YouTube video, and uh, what's the quality like here? Okay, this is going to be music and watch the mouse. You might not see. All right, so something to sort out down the road quantity input. I, oh, it's under display. I think. Um, um, is where people are selecting, um, where people are selecting the number of products that they're buying. Hey, right, one thing I missed though. Uh, all right. So this is description. We went over here, tax category. So those need to be set up, uh, retail price. How much for Tim shoes? I think they're easily worth, uh, 99 cents. Uh, now, this is interesting. What I've discovered with Hika Shop is that you, if you don't put some kind of restriction on here, I'm not sure if this default thing shows up. We're going to check that. Uh, but a cool thing in here is that let's say that you want to offer a special price to people. Um, who are, let's see, we could offer it for 50 cents. Um, that's price with tax because I have tax set up and uh, I can click OK. Now this is 
Let's see here. Let's create a new restriction here. USD. Now there's some more options in the uh, in the paid versions where you can actually set a price based on a user group that someone is in. So that's interesting. So uh, price restrictions uh, and basically if we go up to let's see price restrictions. Oh, that's say you can offer. How do we edit this? How do we edit this? Because there are ways to edit it, I think. So for instance, uh, I'll delete that one. Uh, 50, uh, sell it to someone for 50 cents, but they have to at least buy two. So they'd end up paying uh, 50 cents each if they order two. All right, restrictions and dimensions. Quantity per order, well, we don't want people to be able to order more than four, I don't know why. Uh, quantity per order four. They can order. Uh, let's see. They can order one to four. That's how many they're allowed. You can set dates when this is available. This product and the warehouse. Uh, this might be. Uh, I don't know what warehouse is. Might be where you're storing them. And of course, you can put in. Uh, oh, this is restrictions and dimensions. Available from such and such. I don't, it might show up in the settings later on. The weight in kilograms for these shoes. Uh, they're steel-toed, so I'm going to make them a kilo. <laughs> steel-toed running shoes. And for shipping information, this is especially if you're using something that's calculating, mailing things out, you can put the length in, I don't know, let's, let's make them 12 by 12, 12 high. And here's what we set. We're going to make them uh, inches. All right, 12 inches by 12 inches. It can't be. That's let's make them six, uh, five inches wide. And uh, the box that they come in. Um, yeah. Anyways, we're just playing around there. Now uh, down here, specifications. You can add specifications to this. Uh, let's see. So characteristic. Please select uh, processor, RAM, color. So they shoe size okay so there are some categories here and uh characteristic shoe size is all right and they've already created these so we'll see this later when we look through seven and a half okay related products uh what other products are there that might be related so you might have shoelaces and so um down here uh we you would relate uh let's see uh, Hika shoes, uh, maybe, uh, oh, and this is just doing brands, I think, or just doing types, related products, star shoes are related. No, we have to actually find a product. So you would select a product, oh, baby shoes, all right, there we go. Baby shoes are related to this. Uh, form customization. I think that's for adding a block to this form. Let's just see. Add a new block. Okay. I have to enter a title first. Oh, new block name. Uh, I think that's for... Uh, I don't want to lose everything that's on here. Well, let's just give it a try. New block. Oh, here's a new block up here. And uh, I don't know what we would... What? Oh, hey, you can drag this stuff around. See you later, Imran. Have a great day. I'll catch up later in the day, that is. So, you, look, we can move this block around. Uh, although it really wants to be over here in its own column. All right. Uh, ah, who knows what that'll do. All right, so this is we're creating a product, and we're going to save. If we did it right, it will let us. I don't think anything else showed up. Uh, uh, here's form customization. Once you've customized the view to your needs, you can go under the access level tab of Hikashop configuration to remove the customized access to the necessary user groups. Users from these groups won't see the interface as you've modified it, but it won't be able to change it. Oh, okay, so this is what we just did here. I don't know. That showed up here. Let's just save this again. Um, 
All right, this is something that we'd have to read up on. Anyway, so we've created this product. Cool. Uh, one thing I will just show up here, now that this product exists, here's an add to cart HTML link up here in the top left. This is really cool because if you take this and put this in your content, um, that will um, that will create an add to that will create um, an add to in, in a Joomla article. Here, I'll just show you. We've add to cart link there. Okay, we're gonna go uh, articles. There are no articles. Let's go. Uh, hello. We're going to say buy this. And then we're going to go into the code. Where's the code view on this here? And we're going to paste what we just put in there. Control V. And we're going to go OK. I'm going to feature this so it shows up on the front page, easy to find. And we'll go to my Joomla. And look, there's the button, add to cart. And there you go. And what happens under, right underneath, it does add to the cart. And we're all set to, um, well, unit price free. Aha. I wonder why is that free? Why is Tim Runners free? That's that thing that I think that we ran into before. Um, obviously, I've set it up somehow. Default task order restrictions. Let's make a new, oh, there's only one restriction that we can, oh, here's price. Oh, there's that one there, okay. New restriction, price, oh, okay. So here's where we had 0.99, price with tax, minimum quantity one. Oh, okay, so see, there's a bit of an interface thing happening here. And I, this is what I was right about. You set in the, this is sort of a retail price, but then you have to create restrictions. And one of them is, is what is the price if someone just buys one? If you don't, there you end up with zeros. Because what I had here was a minimum quantity of two. You know, so there, if people are buying two or more, they get it for 50 cents. But other than that, it looks like it's free, the way that works out. Because watch this, now when we save, I was right, we refresh. Now, there we go. Now the unit price is 99 cents. So this is a bit of a, this is a, bit of a tricky thing that can throw you off. Uh, you put in the price for a product, but then you must also create a price uh, for just a default one. But as you can see here, you can make many restrict, uh, you can make many things here. What was throwing me off is that when you hit plus, uh, this almost looks like this is a header. Almost like, hey, if I was going to edit this, I would do it down here, but you're actually making a new one. Just a little user interface thing there, so, all right. Now, anyways, really nice. We already have our checkout here. Now, look at no shipping method found, no payment methods found. Of course, we have lots to set up. All right, so save and close. Yeah, let's save and close. And there we go. There's Tim Runners. And, wow, man, they're a lot cheaper than brown shoes or even even Porsche Carrera. Is that a, uh, oh, they must be doing cars in here. All right, well, let's go back to system here, and we will see uh, right underneath system we have configuration. We should probably check that out. All right, it will probably take us back to a lot of things we've already filled out. So here is main. Uh, the version, put the store offline, yes or no. Here's your shop uh, you know, shop name and address. Oh, no, I could probably put uh, Cyber Salt. Salting uh, Limited. All right. Main currency, these are things we already set. That's great. Uh, characteristic values of ordering. Update the product stock, unconfirmed status change product stock at the order creation or when you're or when being confirmed okay so this has to do um, um, if someone is buying something if someone's shopping if there's two 
two pair of shoes left and someone's shopping and selects the one and adds it to the cart does it take it out of circulation does it say oh, okay one spoken for right now uh display out of stock products make product association in both ways uh okay cool um group options with product you can see a lot okay product options can be displayed together when the main product in the cart okay uh lots of things here and we won't look at every single here because uh, e-commerce is complex but uh settings is going to be your main uh, system and configuration is going to be your main your big friend uh here now also really cool thing is is that sometimes when you uh, uh sell go to start selling things online there might be some things that you've not thought about like uh oh do you want related products to go both way you know if uh if green shoes are related to red shoes, do you want red shoes also to show as related to green shoes? So lots of cool things like that. Also, this is a great way to see what uh, some of the features that are available uh, in the paid version. So for instance, maximum number of items in the cart. So if you don't want people to have too many things in a cart, then you can restrict it. But it's only available and essential in business. Uh, the URL where, where you'll be redirected when the cart is empty. Force the page where the customer is redirected when accessing the checkout with an empty cart. Okay. So if they go to checkout and it's empty, you want to send them somewhere and say, hey, uh, your cart's empty. All right. Order number format. Okay. So here's some other things that you can customize with the paid version. You want to log IP, IP address and history of orders. Enable a customer download area. So it looks like uh, if someone's going to log in to download what they've bought, you need a paid version for that. Here's files that are allowed. Lots of lots of things. Allowed images, the types, all right? Yeah, default image for a product. Maybe you want to put a logo there. Uh, thumbnail, yes, this is important. Where you set the size of the thumbnails that are going to appear uh, or on a product page image, you can change the sizes. Um, do you want to force the images re, uh, images size? Do you want to scale them or crop them? Sometimes the dimensions are a little bit out of whack. You know, if you upload something that is like a YouTube thumbnail width and height, and then all of a sudden you've got uh, 100 by 100 is making something square. So you're kind of working on that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, in some configurations, the system has to add stripes to images when resizing them when the ratio of the original is different. All right, so th things to check out here. Emails, this is what you're going to set up. Currently, it looks like it's using what is in the core of the site. So if you need to change your emails, great. Uh, just so many options. Really nice to just go down and look. Um, you know, there was a time where, uh, a long time ago, I was helping someone with an e-commerce site and uh, helping set things up and I, I that's when it dawned on me how complex and how many different things a lot of things there were to consider and uh, I realized that I was not charging enough especially uh, here here's the deal for the most part people selling things online want to make money so this is what I this is the rule that I adopted if, if I am working for people who want to sell things online then uh, I also need to make money doing that. If you have friends, you're helping, great. If it's a charity or nonprofit or something, of course. But a bona fide business that's trying to, let's say, trying to sell shoes and trying to get started up, um, unless you've got a piece uh, of the business or have some arrangement to uh, benefit from its success, or... Um, uh, unless you have endless supplies of funds or you're just doing or I guess if you're doing someone a favor um, it's a this is a lot of work to do well setting up an e-commerce site and how people sell online and um, and and here's just what I would say is this if someone wants to sell things online and setting up a business and they want to make a go of it and they and they're super cheap on the setup on their web stuff or if they're like, oh, I don't have a lot of money, I'll pay 25 bucks to do all of this. They, that might be an indicator that they don't currently, anything can change, have the business acumen to succeed 
And the only reason I say that is that if they're if you're helping someone who's showing that they don't know what it takes to be in business, some of your good effort and time is going to go to uh, waste. Yes. Uh, Bjorn says, money puts butter on the bread. <laughs> I like that. By the way, I got a haircut, eh, guys? Yeah, look at it. There is hair there, but I got a high and wide yesterday. All right, so just say, hey, if you're working on an e-commerce site for a client, uh, uh, charge them. At, that, at, at, in, at the very least, you're doing them a favor to help them understand that you have to spend money to make money. Uh, and uh, business, you know, takes a lot. Otherwise, uh, the other, you know, because the other thing, not going too much about this, but if you, uh, what I have found is there have been people who I've, who uh, some people who I've helped with, they're excited about their projects. They offer a piece of it or spec or, or whatever. So you think, oh, this is something that could pay off in the long run. But if they don't have enough money invested in a project, sometimes those people, there are people, uh, uh, there are people who start businesses with very little and, are, and commit it and, and grow them. But there's also people who just have lots of ideas, but don't want to spend money. And they just go around trying to get people to put their ideas together so that if they're successful, then they can get rich with very little work. Those people tend to, I've noticed that type of person tends to go on to lots and lots of projects. So you can set up, uh, you can set up an e-commerce store, spend all kinds of stuff, uh, do it for almost nothing or do it for free. And you say, hey, okay, so we're ready now. Uh, are the running shoes made? Well, actually, no, I was talking to a buddy down at the beach the other day and we're going to start selling driftwood. And then all your time's wasted. Anyways, all right. Probably went on too much about that. All right, so under system, we go main. Okay, that's main. Taxes, this jumps us through the area. That's great. All right, so checkout. This is really nice because this is the workflow for uh, the, the checkout process in Hika Shop and any one of these steps you can just delete now so for instance because i'm playing around with uh setting up a product that's actually physical shipping as a step here um but um what you can i think i can no i can't drag i can't change this order i think there's a, oh yeah you can here i can move address over you can ask for shipping first or if in your setup You've thought, no, I don't want shipping at all. You can remove it entirely from the process. Uh, here's your options. Uh, if you're not going to offer people coupons, for instance, you can just delete that view uh, or status. Uh, anyways, um, and lots of things here. Uh, do you want to allow multiple addresses? Uh, yes, if people are logged in, but no at the beginning or always lots to, to read up on here but this is really nice visual place just to see what's happening at checkout there is one i've used before i uh, found it very confusing tr to try to figure this out uh the order and here's even the address format that uh, you know just lots of things to do here now display method for registration uh r default registration view there's some options here um uh, registration here beware that the allow user registration setting with Joomla user managers deactivate it so it's going to be deactivated and he can shop checkout and he can shop registration you know just move down through these areas and you'll find what you need and you'll also see some things um, uh, what will what will you know that maybe are settings that you want for something else uh, if you want the pro version all right, display. Do you want to show the footer? Image pop-up mode. You want it embed a shadow box, embed it or uh, external. Use chosen library. Convert all the drop downs of your front end so that they get more user friendly and looking. However, with some templates, it might break some of the display. All right. Um, use all oh, chosen is capitalized. Convert all the drop downs of your front end so that they get more user friendly. Hmm. I wonder if that that would be something to experiment with. Pagination you want at the bottom, top, both, none. Front end CSS style. All right. So here's your CSS options. Default or old. Uh, edit. Edit what? Oh. 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 Look at that. There's the front end CSS options. 
This is the CSS for the front end. Cool. And it's right there. Uh, or you can make something uh, front end custom. Let's see. Let's just save that. Oh, yeah. Now we've got default old and custom. Can we make another one? No. All right. Interesting. Styles for the front end. Um, let's see. Okay. You make custom styles. Back end CSS. If you want to change something in the front and back end. Oh, that's very cool. Uh, yeah, very nice that they've made that available right here. CSS class for buttons. Hika button. All right. So um, if you have a different class for buttons, you could put that there action button do you want a button oh action button button or link extra css so some cool uh, display things here i hadn't looked in here before modules under the product page all right um oh so underneath the product page what modules do you want to show oh that's nice um okay and this is right within hika shop that's very cool really it is very user friendly even though there's lots of options, which often I find overwhelming, um, it is very user friendly to go down and find things and to figure these things out. Layout on product page, reverse or tabular. Yeah, so that's a default. All right. Remember, we saw when we set up that created a uh, uh, product that um, you could select default, reverse or tabular. Uh, here's where you set the default for that. Uh, thumbnail slider for product page, mobile only always. Interesting. Uh, quantity input method. All right, we saw that before. So you could set this globally for all products. All right. Characteristics selection mo method. You want to see characteristics? You want to see drop down, radio button, table list. All right, that's something to experience. Again, lots of things in here. All right, you want to display product code dimension? Da -da -da -da. Very interesting. Very, very good. Very nice. Uh, modules main default options the product oh the main default option what kind of do you want in the modules main default do you want to show product or category all right you know show randomly chosen items in the module okay sub elements main category all right so we're going to see that uh there's categories and um that, that you will create in subcategories. So what's the main category you want to show in this module? Well, why don't we go and uh, we saw there was nothing. Oh, star shoes, okay. Or we could show Hika shoes, all right. And the products in that category would show. Or we can just go brand, all right. Interesting too, I noticed this the other day that, oh, and then there's a product category for shoes, computing, eBooks, automobile. Oh, and then they've got brands. Okay. Okay. We have to understand a bit more about brands because there's brands, badges, discounts, events, serials. Okay. All right. Let's go back. What was there? What was in there before? I think it was. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Should have paid attention to that. Uh, okay, uh, ordering field, default ordering field. No, this must be the field that you are you can order things by. So if you want to order by um, Bluetooth, uh, obviously it's not a. I guess show things by whether it's Bluetooth or genre or RAM or public. That's for the other defaults they've set in. So, okay. The default parameters for products. Order by whatever one that you picked there. Display add to cart button. Yeah, content on product page. Select where the content that you want to be displayed on products listing content modules with their synchronized well, select here the content that you want to be displayed on products listing content modules with their synchronized options turned on. Uh, so, related products. Okay. From the module associated category. All right. That's going to take. 
Uh, Ivor says, yeah, Hika Shop has very many options. Too many, perhaps, but you uh, but you may tune every item as you want. Yes, uh, but you know what? Uh, I think, too, partly for going through this, all these options, if we didn't look at all of these, I mean, we're looking at them all today on the live stream, but if you just created some, if you did not put install default, uh, the default content or sample content, you would go through, create a category, add a couple of products, you'd have your price in there, you would see how it displays and if it was like oh how i don't i don't know how why is that module showing underneath you, you would kind of figure it out in here so uh it is pretty complex but there notice the other thing too is that uh there's no secret knowledge here in the sense that it's not like oh now i need to go outside we, ha we haven't gone outside into joomla to adjust a module yet or um like oh what how do we do this or how you know i have to go i have to go edit some uh, some text to change it to a div or uh, or to a table from a div you know we're, we're all we're all right here in the Hika shop right now all right uh, default parameters for divs image and title image and description so and certainly you these are all things you could play around with by turning them on and off and see what's the best look that you want and again, uh, it's e-commerce, so you know there's something specific that we're you know, a person's going to be looking for. Item box background, item box margin border, uh, and I like that these mouse overs here uh, to uh, that they're they're giving you good tool tips here. Uh, all right. Features, catalog mode. Now this is cool. Catalog mode in e-commerce is that basically uh, it turns it into sort of a gallery of products or a, I guess a catalog. <laughs> uh, so there's no prices people aren't buying, but it is just displaying products. Uh, so this could be, let's say that you, let's say that you, I'm making Tim shoes, but I don't want to sell them. I want to supply them. And so this is the home of Tim shoes and uh, people can go and check and see uh wait list feature compare mode um uh enables you to activate a comparison feature so that your customers compare products together more easily oh so you have a couple products you can view them side by side choose which oh vote and comment all right do you want to let them vote or comment or vote and comment or vote and comment connected okay Breadcrumbs, so SCF URL, remove products and categories, ID and URLs. Oh, interesting. Oh, I might try that on a, another client's site. Uh, there are Bjorn payment methods included in the free version, and uh, we'll get to uh, we'll, I, we'll get to that because there's something that I was a bit confused by and but figured out. Oh, what, as I've been working this. Category SEF name. Oh, okay. So uh, you can specify here what you want instead of the category part of the SEF URL. So if you don't want category in the SEF URL, you can have something else like shoes. Ah, and then product. Check out SEF name. Okay. Interesting. I'll have to play around with that on my. Uh, on the other site, I just set this up. Um, that was my friend Rick for Smart Drive Test, who sells Doom uh, sells courses with in Moodle. Uh, he was using a different uh, sh we were using a different shopping cart extension, and it was we we're having problems with the checkout, and I couldn't figure it out. And um, my newer client uses this, so I thought, hey, I'm just gonna sw we're just gonna switch over. It was a big job, but it is switched over. All right, uh, ordering field for the fee for the feed. Okay, advanced display view files. When set to front end, you'll see the name of each view file on the front end, so you can rapidly know which view file to edit in the menu display. Oh, okay, so this is. Uh, I think this is for you when you're setting it up. Cart retaining period. How long will a cart live on someone's? Uh, um site frequency of the cart retaining period oh 
period of time during which the cart will be kept in the database. After that, the cart data will be cleaned to avoid having too much data. Okay. So if someone has a cart and they leave it open, it's there for 30 days, which is helpful if you can see their uh, email address or their profile if they're logged in because you could contact them about an empty cart. Um, Ivers just shared a link here. Let's see. Uh, oh, a payment for Klarna. Oh, is that a Norwegian one? Sounds Norwegian. Uh, active product. Now here, dimension symbols. If you wanted to take, if you're not going to use yard, then you could take yard out. Weight symbols. Again, kilogram, uh, pounds out there. The editor you want to use, you can use uh, the default one or you can use a special one that you have installed. Nice. Uh, read more. All right. Swedish. Okay. Oh, uh, Scandinavian is a big payment option. Okay, good. Good for you guys. Uh, deactivate buffering compression for file. Uh, redirect false mode. Uh, okay. Uh, activate this option if you want to remove the browser message when clicking on back on products listings or if you want the filter want the filter parameters and the URLs. All right, use Bootstrap version two design? No, Revert Bootstrap five. Variant published, backend dashboard legacy. Okay, and languages, again, you select languages. Uh, multiple languages only available in the paid versions. Uh, activate the addition of content Activate that option to get the translation flags available in the addition interface or Hikashop content. All right. So we've looked at a lot of the system settings there. Uh, so that was just under system. Now we'll go to payment methods. Now uh, here are some payment methods that have been set up already. Uh, and so I'm assuming that since these are uh, in here in the free version in the sample that maybe they are so let's look credit card uh credit card you may pay by credit card um okay so this is that if you are collecting the credit card information and processing it manually so this is not a credit card gateway okay i was surprised that, that there would be such a generic one there um Right, so let's go cancel on that. Uh, PayPal. Um, your email address. And uh, cancel URL, return URL, the things that you need to put in there. Um, still have not got PayPal working on this yet on my friend's site. I have to figure that out. Uh, there's PayPal Express, which I think allows you to put in APIs and then people can just, um, I think they just put in their credit card information. This is an area I'm still working on figuring out. Now, if you want to add a new payment gateway, so for instance, and I'll show you what I found. If we want to add Stripe, all right, there's no filter here, so I'm going to go F3, S-T-R-I-P-E. Oh, Stripe is not in here. Um, um, let's see. Uh, I I had the I bought the Stripe one because we wanted to use it. And at this point, I will show you. Um, let's see a comparison here. Um, Let's go to home. Let's go to this home page here. And I want to see all features. All right. So on this page here, you can you can compare the versions all in one place to see just what the heck it is that um, each one has. So uh, this is first column is, of course, a starter. 
So there are uh, uh, no options, uh, which are uh, options are real products that you can add to other products as options. So you can't do that in a free version. Uh, custom fields for products, they don't have that. Uh, but um, uh, da, 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 da. in the business edition, you'll be able to create custom fields that will be displayed on the product page. So this is business here or essential. I bought business. Limit product sales by period with various restrictions. Okay, we saw some of the things that need to be turned on there. But let's go down to the payment gateways. Let's see, F3. Oops. F3. Uh, P-A-Y. Yeah, yeah, so payment plugins. Uh, this I found a little bit confusing because it said here payment plugins and I saw a check mark for all three. I thought, oh, that's great. I don't have to get any extra payment plugins. Um, but actually what this is saying is all three of these versions work with all of the plugins that they sell. And as Ivor has put in chat there, there is a Stripe uh, version 3 and it costs 40 euros um, you now I e-commerce payment stuff is fiddly and listen I've learned in my company a lot this year uh, the expenses are crazy uh, if you have staff you're paying people and the software you need I spend like eight thousand dollars a year on software that also in probably includes hosting as well um, but yeah, I, it's so I, I don't blame them for charging extra for <laughs> from these these gateways. I mean, they got it. That's their that's their business. So, um, but so with the starter version, you can use all the payment plugins work, but uh, some some of the payment plugins you need to buy and install. All right, uh, and then so there's the other com combinations here. Uh, reporting tools, gauge and pie chart on sales, uh, you know, lots of things. We can, you can go down here and see what's available and not. Uh, there's not a cron with the free version. And only the um, essentials, now business, only business works with the Joomla ACL. All right. Now business, uh, as you'll see here, is um, 99 euros. Um, uh, yeah, so which probably puts it upper mid range. It's not the most expensive extension out there, but, um, it certainly is, uh, something that is, um, it's a complex, uh, you, you can tell there's a lot of work has gone in this. Although I'll check this out, uh, affiliate system. I like this and, uh, we're setting this up on my friend's site here. Excuse me while I deal with this incoming call from american express marketing uh anyways the affiliate system what we're really hoping we'll get that set up so that he can offer his uh he can offer an affiliate system so that people promote his courses and they buy then uh they get a percentage and the cool thing is is that that's that that's that's pretty nice if you're selling something you can get other people trying to sell it um shipment uh Ivor says shipment is also a must if you don't charge a fixed price yes um i did notice that in the plugins there they're in the compatibility um that uh there is something for shipping yeah there's the manual shipping methods management australia post shipping method plugin um there used to be one, uh, yeah, this is a big deal because if you, uh, here in Canada, if I sell a book and it's this dimension and it's going to, it it will, there used to be a plug-in for another shopping cart that would talk to Canada Post and say, hey, this is the dimension, this is the weight, how much should we charge? They'd call back and say, this is how much you charge. It gets added and calculated there. Shipping can be a hassle. So um, unless you, yeah, so as, as Ivor said, unless you, if you don't charge a fixed price. All right, let's go back to the back end here. So that was uh, system payment methods, shipping methods, manual UPS, 
uh, UPS uh, da, 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 price generic configuration for it uh, doesn't look like there's anything in here uh, restrictions or oh, you can select um, countries or that all right yeah so you've got this is where you figure it out <laughs> for your <laughs> for your shipping methods plugins uh we don't have any plugins here let's see is there something new oh all right you need to edit and save the plugins before they can appear in the checkout okay so hikasharp cart notification plugin content markdown plugin hikasharp date picker plugin all right so and this is you need to edit and save the plugins before they can appear in the checkout all right Definitely things to check out. So let's see. Let's see. Uh, Hikashop shipping manual. Display on product page. Yes. This plugin allowed to configure price per product for manual shippings. All right. All right. Things to check out in there. Not open. Did that open up a new tab? Or it just took us into it? I think it just took us into it. Okay, do, do, do. we're back in plugins, shipping methods, shipping methods, payment methods, payment methods. All right, now we're back. Warehouse was something that showed up. Warehouse, let's see what are options. The name, published, and description. So I guess this is I guess this is what I was thinking before. It's where you are, have things stored. Oh, it's at the warehouse in New York. Or it's at the warehouse in Toronto. All right, taxes. All right, so you can, here's the default tax category. You can also add a new tax, and this could be a product tax, default tax category. May, oh, maybe there's, uh, we need to make a tax category here. Uh, cumulative tax, no customer uh let's see customer type individual all right so i'd have to see how that how to maybe oh zone country canada ah, okay so for instance in canada oh this is a bit can i begin to type here oh you can oh nice canada all right in canada Oh, okay, here's what you need to do. Uh, let's talk about Ontario. Ontario HST, which is actually, I think it's 15%. And I would apply that to people that are checking out from that province. All right, so uh, system taxes. Uh, oh, so up here we manage tax categories. All right, we would create a new one, and this would be um, Ontario HST, just to work through this, whoops, Ontario HST, uh, parent category, yeah, the, the, the taxation ca category, yeah. All right, and then we would save, oh, save and close, and now we have the Ontario, so now or we'll rebuild those and now we would go to system and taxes and we would create a new tax which would be Ontario uh, in the uh, Ontario HST category the rate oh boy all right anyways okay there's there's something robust uh, I was wondering any return and write of withdrawal form from in Hika shop so if you want to do a privacy request and have your information removed I'm not sure we have to keep our eye out for that 
taxes, zones, currencies, order statuses, emails, mass actions. What's a mass action here? A new mass action would be, oh, select a trigger. Every minute, um, the product columns. Oh, start update. Oh, export. Oh, there's lots of things you can do in here. Update the product option. Interesting. All right. So apparently on users every minute you could um, have users that have an order you would send an email to delete the filtered elements all right wow That's something cool in there oh for customer no Ivor says for the customer return of goods norway has Norway has to have that for all orders online. Okay, so a way for them to say, hey, uh, I want to return this. Okay. Uh, well, let's see if we run into that. Order statuses. Created, confirmed, canceled, refund, it shipped, pending. All right. Um, and your settings here. Okay. Uh, this is interesting too because shopping cart, uh, say PayPal will come back and say, yeah, the order is confirmed and it gets changed from, uh, gets changed your the order gets changed from created to now it has been confirmed. Um, uh, here's refunded. Okay. Uh, here we're back in mass action system. Order says email. All right. So now products. Products. We've got uh, here's your list of products. You can export. You can make a new one. Uh, same with categories. If you want to create categories, you've got shoes. Uh, again, pretty straightforward. If you're going to make a new category, uh, uh, um, Tim products. Go through here. Your meta description, keywords, page title, blah, 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 blah. What's the parent category? Uh, the parent category would be shoes and then you save and close yeah so products characteristics color shoe size all right processor ram you can make a new one the name is uh, uh timishness uh, alias the display available values on listings yes uh the values of timishness um uh, unibrow uh, yeah unibrow okay and um, no brow <laughs> all right and you can save and somewhere oh is someone going to use a drop down a radio button to select them and um, now where that gets added inside a product I'm not sure or which oh, I, must, I bet you there's options for which ones you want to add because shoes don't need a hard drive or processor brands all right so that's brands so here they have some examples star shoes Hika shoes all right and this is where um you can set brands for uh the different um products if you're featuring products from a brand okay and then a canonical url for that so we saw that in the in the setups uh badges new product 10 percent 20 percent nice uh discount 20% discount not found. Let's see. Name, discount, product, yes, da, 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 da. category, discount, da, 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 da. If something is in that category, um, okay, so you can just display 20% off for 
what was that it was in badges okay and importing this is for importing products from another site so that would be good too all right uh, customers you can uh, these are people that have bought um, you can see the information this actually goes to show this pulls stuff from the Joomla user information which is pretty plain here now billing address no addresses what are we gonna do add oh because you want to add some information for their billing oh okay so you're managing something because that's not in the core of Joomla but if you had a client that hadn't filled this out or wanted to change their address great you would go in here and you would add their shipping address all right which they would have entered uh, when when they placed an order vote here's who's voted the invisible man voted um, on the 14th for a sports subscription and let's see what did they vote uh, da, da, da. all right email history okay if emails went out I know uh, uh, one client that had a massive database of uh, email history for this, a massive table. Uh, they'd had it for years. And so I uh, called that down because it was really messing up with uh, effectively backing the site up. Orders, here's where you can see your orders, who's ordered what. Um, this is interesting. This is B1 and C2. Now notice um, here what you see. This is the ordering process. I noticed this in Hikashop. Someone places the order and it's created. And then the, as it goes through and is processed, then later on it gets changed to um, a different order number. It's a bit confusing um, unless they've... See, let's look here. We go B1. Order number B1 created, they want uh, shipping Alipay. I don't know what they bought there. All right, so let's go back. And now if we go to C2, confirm none, collect on delivery. Um, yeah. I don't see what they ordered on here, but it could just be from the default things that they've got set up. Uh, discounts, you want to offer a discount, you can go in here and create new, which is nice that this is part of the free version. You can give them a discount or uh, make it a coupon. Of course, they have a separate link for coupons there. Uh, maybe they did that so that People, uh, people having problems finding one or the other could use it. Um, and you can give them the percentage and how many times it's used. Um, or a flat amount. You can give it to them in, a, in one of the currencies of your store. Start and end. And there are advanced restrictions on this. I think, for instance, in uh, Essential and Business Editions, or I know for in the Business Editions, you can apply... You can say this only applies to a certain product. And of course, coupons is going to be the same. Uh, although here they had shipping percentage. Oh, coupons, automatic taxes, number of times used. This is a bit different than a discount, I guess, um, based on how things are taxed. Um, possibly. All right, all right, here we've looked at that, display, views, um, let's see. Okay, and here's a way, let's look at the different views that are available in uh, the front end template Cassiopeia. And there's a lot here, so you can view based on different templates, front and back end, front end only, um, Cassiopeia, all views. So if you wanted to go and change a, uh, a cart, 
how it appears in the front end a section let's see this sh you want to change the share part you would click on here and there is oh a bit of a builder here oh you can change the code around it looks like um emails copy oh here here's where it corresponds down here so some uh, a handy way to do some uh navigating to change things obviously that's all advanced but custom fields uh you can make a new custom field let's see here oh this is a uh, um this is a custom field for billing or shipping address um, and there's some options here uh, limitations um, label column name field type you've got all these you got a date pickers boolean single drop down zone hidden custom text radio button <laughs> overrides yes yeah did I did I say something wrong there? Just uh, just using different words. Um, yeah, these are over. Those were overrides. Um, upload folder for media. Maximum file size allowed. Thumbnail dimensions. This is for oh, creating a field. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, maybe. So for instance. Uh, what have we got here? Text area was a big radio button check boolean single drop down zone hidden custom. If you were placing a field for someone to upload something, this would be something to experiment with. All right. Uh confuse custom fields. Documentation. that takes you back you would think that maybe that would take you to a new page but uh, so you're not out of where you were wishing to see documentation but there it is so handy dandy right there in the back end of the site uh, documentation update the checks you have the latest okay and the forum for it to go and log in and ask questions all right, so um, all in all, not a bad, uh, not actually a pretty impressive extension. Uh, lots of options. You don't have to do as many things as we were into, but um, notice here, um, this is the dashboard. I'll show you the orders this month. I think this is grayed out because there are none, although it might also not be available in the free version. Um, definitely places that you can check down here, quick quick ways to get to areas, so that's kind of handy. I wonder if you can even change the, the configuration of this somehow. Maybe, uh, I'm sure you could with an override. Uh, Ivory, your question about withdrawal form, Hika Shop. I don't know. Um, didn't see anything. Um, let's see. That's from five years ago. Okay. So that would be something that you'd have to look into to see if it works with your existing plugin, a payment gateway. Maybe they have a way to uh, go in and cancel. Um, but uh, return of goods, Heike Shop uh, handling returns form. How to handle return of a product in an order, Hika Shop. 
2017. Uh, for the moment, there's no order status per order item, but that is something. Uh, and, yeah, uh, yeah, I guess easily if you're going to put a process, uh, if it's just you have to have an outline or a process, you could do that. I would think even... Uh, you know, to make a document and link to it, or even a page with the information and a convert forms that says, uh, what order, what is your order number? Uh, do you want to cancel or do you, um, um, or, or whatever, we'll be in touch with you to handle the return or send you the information and put your whole process there. So probably in that way, you would just need to hear back from the person, their email address. Uh, you could also, uh, I know, I, I believe that you can go into your user profile and, and view the orders that you have made on a site. And so in that, you could give instructions to people saying, if you want to return an order, please log in and uh, go to here, to your product, uh, to your order, and then uh, you'll find that information, contact us and we will make arrangements for you to return things. So yeah, yeah, convert form would be really good because then you could get air all the information that you wanted. Um, you could even click why do you want to return it? Uh, you know, they say it's the wrong size or it's broken or not what I thought it was, you know, yeah. So you could collect it that way. So certainly it's something that you could easily adapt and that would um, that would be good. All right, so you know what? I like this. I like this extension. It's uh, working well for a couple of my clients, uh, and uh, it makes sense. And um, will I use it for every project? Uh, I don't know. I, I will say this, though, and let me just uh, switch to calendar. I was thinking about this the other day. Uh, you know, a shopping cart is probably something you're going to pick one to take to the dance with and go home with as well. Because if you want to do some of the, so if, let's say you're using the starter version, but you want to offer Stripe credit card processing and you pay your 40 euros for that processor. Now you've got Stripe processing for Hika Shop. You're probably not likely to go and buy another payment processor for uh, a, another shopping cart system. So I think these are pretty much things that we kind of end up committed to because we know them, especially too with all of the options that there are. Uh, if it's like, oh, I need to change, set up the taxes. Oh, how, you know, you know, once you know how to do it in one extension, then you don't uh, necessarily want to keep figuring it out for them all. Uh, that said, there are some shopping carts that are heavier or lighter, and you might uh, um, you might want to use them for uh, for a smaller site. Or someone says, "Oh, you know what? I don't have products to sell. I just need to sell some services." Then, um, uh, or I just want to sell some download files. You might think, oh, "Okay, well, we can set that up quick in this this other payment uh, in this other e-commerce solution." Um, so it really comes down to streamlining. You know, for instance, in uh, in Canada, we have, like everywhere else around the world right now, there are airlines that are struggling to get staff and they have to cancel flights and that. Uh, there's one airline here in Canada, WestJet, it's mostly in Western Canada, and they were very successful because all they did was fly the same kind of plane. They didn't have a lot of different kinds of planes. Excuse me. And so, um, which meant that all their crews could fly all their planes. And so they were very adaptive. If a, if a flight was delayed uh, and uh, they needed to change crews for some reason, it wasn't like, oh, there, we have no crews in that city that can fly that plane. We have to get them there. No, they could all fly the same thing. It was just easier. And I think likewise with the sites that we are building, uh, the sites that we build, um, 
the more the more extensions that you know how to use maybe gets a little bit more complicated or busy in our minds trying to manage them now that said you know if i have client you know i here i took a client that was using hika shop i never used it i figured well i can figure it out it was a good client and uh, the project so i thought okay i'll just figure it out uh for developing though i don't know uh, you know, my mind is switching from one product to another, to another, to another thing slower these days. So to just keep working in the same thing is probably a bit more efficient. Um, Bjorn says, not Bjorn, Ivor says that you made this in uh, Presta Shop. Let's see that. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's very nice looking site. It's got the products there, best sellers. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, and you know, so it's pretty exciting and pretty cool, I think, in Joomla that we can uh, that we can do this. Uh, if I were, you know, I, you all know me. I can't. I couldn't do this from scratch. Um, but having these options for us to add to a site and that is good. The other nice thing too is once you've bought Hika Shop and your subscription. Uh, as long as it lasts, you can run your updates and you own it. You're not paying monthly for a bunch of stuff. You've got your store running and and that is good. Uh, now, um, of course, with with it running inside of Joomla, Joomla takes some setup and running itself. And so there's e-commerce solutions out there for people that want to do nothing with websites. And so they're, they don't mind paying monthly for just a lot of different options and things because that's just what they want to do. Whereas there's others that want to have the site and be able to work on it themselves. Makes sense. There's just so many, so many toppings we can put on the pizza. Uh, and they don't have, <laughs> uh, Bjorn and that, uh, uh, Iris is in that site. They don't have pink handcuffs anymore. There you go. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's, um, uh, yeah, we covered lots of ground, talked about a bunch of things, but anyways, uh, it's a product that's working for a couple of my clients. I like the look of it. It's got a nice setup process. I don't need to do all of those complex things. Uh, I actually one of the, uh, one of my team are installing this on my own personal uh, on my uh, sorry on my company site because I want to begin to offer some services, just one time services, consults, things like that. And I thought, hey, instead of me contacting people and saying, hey, you can send this to me or I'll invoice you. I thought, I, you know, I want something that just lets them buy and manages that. And then, uh, then I can provide the service that they want. Uh, Mary was late today. That's okay, Mary. Uh, but you have unrelated question for anybody here. Go ahead. Shoot. You got in here just in, just in time. We'll watch for Mary's question. All right. Uh, what else is happening here? Cybersalt World Headquarters. We are having very lovely weather. Like the high each day is like 23 degrees. Kind of cool. We should be into our summer weather now. But um, um, but and just the same. Nice weather. I don't mind not being stinking hot. We did close the windows yesterday because it was breezy. Uh, Mary has a new super user that can't navigate through the admin without it lagging a lot. No admin tools enabled and can't re reproduce. Mary, is it fast for you when you're logged in? That's the first thing I would wonder. No, oh, it's fast for you. Um, have they tried it in different browsers? I, because I, I, I wonder if, so for instance, when I use Brave browser, it blocks trackers. Um, and so I wondered if it could, I wonder if something in their browser is blocking that or if it's, um, um, 
or if it is something on the antivirus software or um, you know something like a Norton that's got all that safe protect stuff and uh, so because they're logged in it's really processing everything hardly uh, also is it fast for you when you're logged in as them that's I was I, I, my first question there was is it fast for you when you're logged in uh, if you log in with their username and password is it fast for you because if if their login is fast for you then it's obviously something local for them um, yeah because then you then you will know at least you'll be able to say, hey, you know what? I logged in as you and it was fast, so we need to find out what's on your computer that's doing that. So that would be a good way to rule it out. And then, um, yeah, if, 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 it's, if it's the same. Hey, no worries. That's why we're here. All right, well, I better take that win of good advice and then uh and parlay that into wrapping up the stream in a good time my wife has just got come home from our granddaughters it's lunchtime here so everybody uh see thanks for tuning in today i really did enjoy just relaxing and sitting down in our weekly gathering here and um um yeah so i hope as usual that wherever you are, be it morning, afternoon, evening, or tomorrow, that you are doing well and that you're safe. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites, and God bless. <laughs>